Production assistance for Calliope is provided in part by 5D Designs. Val McGinnis voiceovers at listentoval.com and partners in quality children's television programming, Louise and Warren Aldrich. Thank you. time of the day. It's morning time. Morning time. Sun is rising. Morning time. Good morning, Lucy. Morning time. Morning time. Birds are singing. Morning time. Good morning, early bird. Bok bok. Morning time, morning time, count your blessings, morning time. Good morning, Giuseppe. Morning time, morning time, bells are ringing, morning time. Good morning, Penelope. Morning time, morning time. How I love the morning time. Boys and girls, my name is Calliope, and someday I'm going to join my Papa the Ringmaster's traveling circus. This juggling thing is just not as easy as it looks. Oh, hi, boys and girls. It's a beautiful day here in Calico Valley, and well, as you can see, I've been practicing my clown skills and trying to get them just right so I can go on the road with the traveling circus. Good morning to you too, Lucy. I hope you're doing well this morning. Meow. Say, Lucy, there's something I've been wanting to ask you for a long time. Meow. Every time I see you, there's a butterfly perched on your nose. Why do you always have a butterfly on your nose? Meow. Meow, meow. Don't you ever wish that the butterfly would just fly away? Why not? Meow, meow. What do you mean it has its moments? Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> well, I guess seeing all the pretty colors all the time does have its good points. <laughs> Boys and girls, we'll see what's happening around the caravan after these messages. We'll be right back. Boys and girls, Calliope will be right back after these messages. Welcome back, boys and girls. And good morning, Penny. Good morning, Calliope. Penny, are you all right? What's wrong? Oh, I feel fine. I just 
had a bad dream last night. Really? What was the dream about? I dreamed I was flying, and I am really afraid of being so high up. Did anything bad happen during the dream, Penny? No, but since I'm so afraid of being up in the air, just dreaming about flying was bad enough. Well, Penny, you're safe on the ground, and it was just a dream, and everything's just fine now. Good morning, Giuseppe. Good morning. I just heard a Penelope say she had a bad -a dream last night. That's a rough. It's a hard to sleep around a bad -a dream. I know, I've had a few bad dreams myself, but she said this one was about flying. Giuseppe, have you ever dreamed something that has scared you? Uh, I stay on a solid earth. This here is as high up off of the ground as I ever plan to get. I can't argue with that. Being in your own surroundings is, well, it's comfortable. But don't you ever want to go out and explore? Once in a while. But mostly, the regular comfort is just the what are we all in need. I suppose you're right. What would you say to Penny about her dream? I'd tell her to just to forget it. Unless she really does a plan to go a flying, it's a just a dream. That's good advice, Giuseppe. Ah, ah. Mr. McCall is here with the mail. Good morning, Calliope. Good morning, Mr. McCall. What's this? Not another mail order course. Nay, lassie, I dinna think it is. This one's from the traveling circus. The circus? I wonder what it is. It's from Papa. He sent me a present. Well, lass, if you'll excuse me, I'll be off to deliver the rest of the mail. Have a great day, and I hope you enjoy your present from your Papa. Ta-ta. Bye, Mr. McCall. I wonder what Papa sent me, boys and girls. Good morning, Calliope. What's that? Good morning, early bird. It's a present from my Papa, and I can't wait to open it. I'm sure it's a great present. Is something troubling you, Calliope? It's Penelope. She had a bad dream. She dreamed that she was flying, and, well, now I don't know if she was actually scared of flying or if she's just scared of being so high off the ground. Oh, flying is so much fun. I spend a lot of my time up in the air, you know. I know, early bird, and you sure look like you have fun when you're flying. Oh, I do. Tell Penelope that I would love to talk to her about flying if she thinks it would help. I'll be sure to do that, early bird. Now, if you'll excuse me, I want to go see what my papa has sent me. I wonder what's in the box from my papa. It's so exciting getting a present from him. Happy Monkey is here. Oh, I'll just have to wait to open the box. Good morning, Calliope. What's that on the settee? Good morning, Happy Monkey. It's a present from my papa. How nice. I'm afraid I don't have any presents, just some fruit for Giuseppe. He placed a special order for some grapes and peaches, and I made sure that he got the freshest I could find. No candy? No caramel apples? No soda? <laughs> Not this time, Calliope. But these fruits are really good, and good for you, too. I guess you're right, Happy Monkey. Say, don't tell Giuseppe, but I like grapes. Then you'll love these. And that makes me think of a joke. You have a joke for everything, Happy Monkey. It's a talent of mine. Anyway, here goes. What are two things you can never eat for breakfast? I don't know. What are two things you can never eat for breakfast? Lunch and dinner. <laughs> I should have known. <laughs> if you'll give these fruits to Giuseppe, I'll be on my way. Have a happy day filled with joy. You too, Happy Monkey. What's in the box, Calliope? 
It's a present from my papa. It's a card. Dearest Calliope, your mama and I found this in a small shop in the town we are visiting on the circus tour. We remembered how much you like these, and we just had to buy it and send it to you. Enjoy this gift with our love, Papa. It's a lamp, Penny, and it's in the shape of a hot air balloon. That's so pretty. Does it fly like a balloon? No, Penny. A hot air balloon is a really, really big balloon, and people can ride in it. Ride in it? You mean up in the air? Oh, yes. It's so much fun. Oh, I don't think I could ever do that. I'd be too, af I'd be too afraid. Have you ever ridden in a balloon, Penny, or been flying at all? No, but... Then how do you know that you would be afraid? I just know that I'd be so scared I couldn't do it. Penny, I know what we're going to do. We're going to try to conquer your fear. How? Let's go on a trip. We'll go to Callaway Gardens in Pine Mountain, Georgia and go for a hot air balloon ride. I know where Callaway Gardens is, but I don't think I could ride up in a balloon. They have some hot air balloons there. And we can help you get over your fear of flying. And we can go and come back before Giuseppe even gets done with breakfast. You mean we're going now? We'll go as soon as I change my costume. I think I'll wear my bird outfit. Boys and girls, we're going on a trip. After these messages, we'll be right back. Well, Penny, here we are, and look at all the beautiful balloons. They're really pretty, Calliope, but I'm afraid of going up in one. All these people are here to fly in the balloons, Penny. There's nothing to be afraid of. Oh, look, Calliope, that balloon is taking off. Hey! It's pretty! Uh... I don't know. Look at the people in the basket, Penny. They're having a lot of fun. They're going up so high. Oh, Penny. Uh. coming down. Uh -huh. Everybody is smiling. Wow! All those ropes are holding the balloons, Penny. There's nothing to be afraid of. Are we going to go up that high? Oh. I think so, and it's going to be fun. fire under that balloon? The fire creates the hot air that makes the balloon fly. It's really pretty, but I'm still a little afraid, though. Calliope, are you sure about this? You're getting in the balloon. Oh, don't leave me down here without you. Hello, little puppy. I hope you're going to enjoy being in our balloon. I'm still a little scared, Calliope. Let go of me. I'm not sure we should do this. Oh, excuse me, little lady. Excuse me, puppy. In just a minute, we're going to take off. I want you to have a really good time on our balloon. Just look over the side and watch. If you've never been on a balloon before, you're in for a real treat. And away we go! Oh, don't let go of me, Calliope. I don't want to fly. Oh. Look, 
Penny. We're off the ground. We are? Hey, we're off the ground, Calliope. I'm flying. Wow, it's scary, but it's so much fun. I love to fly. Wow, we're up so high. <laughs> See? I told you there was nothing to be frightened of. small from up here. Wow! Still scared, Penny? Uh-uh. Do you like it? Uh-huh. <laughs> Want to land now? Uh-uh. I'm having a ball. Look at all the other balloons. Well, that's the ride, folks. I sure hope you liked it. You mean it's over? We're going to land now? I'm afraid so, Penny. Some other people want to take a turn. Oh, uh, oh well, we're back on the ground. All right, it's time to clear the basket. Just hold on and go over the side. There you go. Did you enjoy it, Penny? Oh yes, I'm not afraid anymore. Welcome back, boys and girls. Well, Penny, what did you think? Oh, Calliope, it was so much fun. I really love being up in that balloon, but all the excitement made me a little tired. I'm sure it did. Tell you what, I'm gonna go check with Giuseppe to see if our breakfast is almost ready. Why don't you go take a nap? A nap would be great. Boy, did I have a great time flying. I love flying. I love flying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wake up! Penny? Penny, wake up, dear! Giuseppe says breakfast will be ready soon. Huh? 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 Oh, 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 Calliope! I just had a wonderful dream. I dreamed I was flying. And I'll bet you were flying in a balloon, weren't you? No, I was.
was just flying. The wind was blowing behind me while I flew everywhere and saw everything. So, do you think you've gotten over your fear of heights? Oh, yes. I want to go back up in the hot air balloon. <laughs> when Bok Bok cackles like that, it's time for Calliope's thought of the day. Thank you, Bok Bok. And the thought of the day is, it's okay to say that you are afraid. Calliope, your breakfast is ready. It's breakfast time, but first we must feed our friends because they depend on us. Here you go, Lucy. Penelope, this one's for you. Here you go, Bok Bok. There you go, Haymon. Oh, won't go away. <laughs> My fresh milk is here. Good morning, Daisy. That's right, Daisy. Penelope and I went up in a hot air balloon at Callaway Gardens this morning. Really? When did you go up in a balloon, Daisy? And were you afraid to go up? <laughs> yes. I guess a bunch of helium balloons would take a fluffy up into the air if a little child asked you to hold them. But were you afraid? <laughs> you were too scared to be afraid? Oh, Daisy, that's funny. <laughs> Thank you for my milk and have a great day. Thank you, Giuseppe. So, did a Penelope have a good time in the balloon? Yes, she did. Well, she knows now that being afraid of heights isn't a something that can keep her down. <laughs> Get it? To keep her down? Giuseppe made it a joke. I'll have to tell Happy Monkey that one. It's time to set the table, boys and girls. I like to sing the place setting song when I do this. Won't you sing along with us? Penelope is going to help us. Fork on the left. Fork on the left. Spoon on the right. Spoon on the right. Plate in the middle. Plate in the middle. Cup right here. Cup right here. Napkin in the lap. Napkin in the lap. When you set the table right, it makes mealtime a delight. I'm so glad you came to visit me today, boys and girls. And next time you're passing through Calico Valley, stop in again and see me. And don't forget the lesson that we shared. It's okay to say that you're afraid. And remember, always do your best and never, never, ever give up. And I love you. Bye-bye.